Now, Epaminondas was a boy who was forever getting in trouble. He loved to go and visit his grandmother, and so one day he went to visit her, and she gave him some cake to bring home to his mom. He took that piece of cake, and he knew his mom was going to be so excited, and so he held it so tight the whole way home that when he got there, there wasn't anything left but crumbs. His mom said, Epaminondas, what you got there? He said, it's cake, Mom. Grandma gave me cake to give to you. She said, E. Paminondas, don't you know, that's no way to carry cake. The way you carry cake is you take some leaves, you wrap it up, then you put that in your hat, put your hat on your head, and you come right on home. E. Paminondas said, all right, I'll do that next time, Mom. The next day, he went to go see his grandmother again. And that day, she gave him some butter. Now Epaminondas thought about what his mom said, and so he took that cake of butter, and he wrapped it in some leaves, he put that in his hat, put his hat on his head, and he walked on home. Now it was a really hot day, and that butter melted all over Epaminondas, so when he got home there was none left. His mom said, Epaminondas, what you got there? He said, it's butter, Mom. Grandma made some butter and told me to bring it to you. She said, Epaminondas, don't you know that's no way to carry butter? The way you carry butter is you wrap it in some leaves, you take it down to the brook, and you cool it in the water, and you cool it in the water, and then you hold it real careful and bring it on home. He said, all right, Mom, I'll do that next time. So the next time Epaminondas went to see his grandmother, she had a puppy dog for him to bring home. Now Epaminondas was so excited and he wanted to do it right, so he took that puppy dog, he wrapped him up in some leaves, and then he took him down to the brook and he cooled it in the water, and he cooled it in the water, and then he picked that puppy dog up and he brought him on home. When he got there, his mom said, Epaminondas, what do you have there? He said, it's a puppy dog. Grandma gave it to me. She said, Epaminondas, what have you done to that dog? Don't you know that's no way to carry a dog home? The way you carry a dog home is you take a piece of string, you tie that piece of string around your puppy dog's neck, and then you set him down on the ground, and you hold the other end of the string while he walks on home with you. He said, all right, Mom, I'll do that next time. By and by, Epaminondas went to see his grandmother again. And that time, she had some bread to bring home to his mama. Epaminondas, boy, he wanted to get it right. So he took that piece of string, he tied it around the loaf of bread, put that bread on the ground, and then he walked it on home. Oh, Epaminondas' mom was not happy when Epaminondas got there. She said, Epaminondas, what have you done to that bread? I said, Grandma gave it to me. I did just like you said, Mom. She said, Epaminondas, that's no way to carry home bread. What is wrong with you? Go to your room. So Epaminondas went to his room and she said, Epaminondas, I laid out some pies that I made this afternoon. They're in the stairs, so you mind how you step in those pies, young man. He said, yes, Mom. And on the way up the stairs, Boy, was Epaminondas careful how he stepped on those pies. He stepped right in the middle of every one of them. Epaminondas' mom was so mad when she got home, she sent him to bed without any 